We begin today with the latest on the month long war in Ukraine. Ukraine says Moscow has forcibly taken over 400,000 civilians to Russia and may use them as hostages to pressure Ukraine to give up. Russia says they wanted to go. Now, Ukraine's Navy claims it destroyed a Russian ship near a Russian occupied port city in southern Ukraine. President Biden in Europe at an emergency NATO summit announced more aid for Ukraine and more sanctions against Russia. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda is live with the details. Carlos? Well, that's right. And President Biden announced those new sanctions in coordination with top U.S. allies. This comes as Ukrainian forces continue to mount a fierce defense. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, however, said today he needs more help from the West. President Biden at the NATO summit, putting up a united front with key allies. He is pledging more help for Ukraine and sanctions against Russia. Ukraine's president spoke through a live link today and says Western allies still aren't doing enough. This is the worst during the war, to have no clear answer for our request for help. Ukraine never wanted this war. We don't want to fight. We simply want to survive, to save our people. At this emergency summit in Brussels, Biden announcing a new set of sanctions targeting Russian elites and the country's central bank. NATO has never, never been more united than it is today. Putin is getting exactly the opposite what he intended to have as a consequence of going into Ukraine. We've built that same unity with our European, the European Union and with the leading democracies of the G7. This comes as Ukrainian forces continue their defense of key cities. This video recorded from webcams show this Russian boat destroyed in the port of Berdyansk this morning. U.S. defense officials say the Russian military east of Kyiv has been pushed back. During this news conference, air raid sirens go off as the mayor of Kyiv and his brother, the former boxer, talk about the ongoing fight. You know, under continuous attack, it's going to be one month soon. But our will of the Ukrainians and our allies, as strong as it could be, to defend the country and, mostly importantly, to defend our principles. And President Biden will now head to Poland, which has become the epicenter for Ukrainian refugees. This as the West tries to figure out how to deal with this humanitarian crisis. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.